Marcos administration has launched its Bagong Pilipinas governance slogan. Malacanang said the branding is reflective of the government's plan for inclusivity and social transformation. The logo for Bagong Pilipinas features a stylized Philippine flag with overlays of famous landmarks. This is the most recent change under the Marcos administration following the controversial revision of logos of the Tourism Department and PAGCOR. 3 million is too much kung logo lang talaga. Parang gawa lang ng bata. Actually, yung mga batang designer pa. Uh, kasi parang minadali. From the Tourism Department to PAGCOR and now Malacanang, lately change has been the name of the game. Aside from the concept behind tweak campaigns, the logos are also igniting conversations. Why is government's branding and rebranding creating such a buzz? We discuss in this episode of The Chiefs. Welcome to this edition of The Chiefs. I'm Ed Bingao. With me tonight in the studio, Robbie Alampay of One News, Ana Marie Pamintuan, Editor-in-Chief of the Philippine Star, and of course, Luchi Cruz Valdez, the Head of News 5. Chiefs, happy Tuesday. Happy Good evening. Tuesday. Good evening. Mm. Daming ganap na yung araw. Oh, oh, ha. Ha. Maharlika investment fund. Wala na. Huwag na natin pag-usapan. Tapos na. Hindi, pero malinaw pa sa inyo. Tapos na ba yun? May pupunta pa sa Supreme Court. Natin, oh, alam, oh, and of all things, not because of the content uh, as much as it is because of the process. The process. The oh. Both, no, both, but both yeah, pero yung pinaka, ano, yung pinaka, ah. <laughs> pinaka matapang dun na, ay, yung pinaka kakagat yeah, na malamang legal is yung, yung procedure. Eh. Pero hmm. malinaw na ba sa'yo kung ano talaga siya? Eh, sabi mo nga, di ba? Everything, anywhere, all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, everywhere, all at once. Hindi, sinabi kasi sovereign wealth fund na siya. No? Hmm. Yeah. Ah, tsaka investment fund. And investment fund. Mm. Yung sourcing, medyo malinaw na ba? Land pa? Di ba? DPP, Land Bank, 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 DPP, Pero right. hindi ba, sinasabi pa rin nila, baka daw pwede pa rin mag-invest, di ba? Ang SSS, ang SSS, ang yeah. SSS, to the through projects. Yeah. Yeah, no. Not yes. in the fund itself, but right. through the projects yeah, no. implemented uh, to the fund. Binanggit ba yun? Hindi ko kasi napakinggan eh. Uh, parang wala yun wala doon. Wala. So it wasn't uh -oh. anymore. Parang iniwan siyang open. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I mean, pati naman ng mga huling conversations natin, a lot, of, a lot was hinging on management. Yes. Di ba? Sabi nila, tingnan natin because they're still leaving room for management to make those executive, um, executive decisions. Mm -mm. Right. Tsaka mm -hmm. parang malinaw si, well, at least si BBBM, no? Kina-clarify niya kanina na separate niya. It's not going to be government run. It's going to be a privately run uh, fund. But it will no? be chaired. Very well, clear siya dun eh. The directors are still majority government. government I know, pero siya mismo daw nga lapas. So parang yun nga yung mga kakwestioning mo dun eh. Uh -huh. ba? Parang... Ano ba talaga to government fund ba to? Sino man ang nagot? Uh, you know, those questions remain unanswered. Uh, I guess ang punto lang dito, maraming pa rin tanong. Yes. <laughs> the other thing is the food stamp program was yes. launched uh, this morning. Uh, mm -hmm. Initial batch of what, 50? Mm -hmm. 50 ba? Tondo and ba? Tondo and Valenzuela. 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 Yes. Valenzuela, yes. Yeah. So meron silang... 3,000 no, a month. You have so many percent that can only be allotted for so many types of ano, produce. Oh, nga, hindi naman daw pwede nyo. <laughs> hindi pwede yung mga necessities. Ah, ah. Oh, yung mga necessities. Hindi <laughs> pwede yung chips. Hindi pwede yung junk food. Hindi ah, 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 mahalagay yung mga, mga yosi, mga ano. Hindi pwede. Hindi, hindi, hindi oh. talaga. Hindi rin. Eh. Tsaka tax nun. Tumas na nga eh, di ba? Junk food ba yung, ay, junk food ba yung noodle? No comment. <laughs> Because so many people actually that that's the comfort food. Yes. And that's con the convenience. It's a staple and it's protein. Yes. I mean especially no, for they yeah, especially for Ah, but yung iba kasi ginagamit nilang ulam. With the egg assuming na assuming that there's egg. There's egg content. Okay nga. Yun nga. How much egg is in there? Oh, wala. But that's Kailangan mo maglagay ng egg doon. Di ba? Pero yun nga may mga may mga research showing na uh, it's either used as a staple or ginagamit na ulam. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. Kasi maalat eh. So, uh -huh. pang ano mo na, pang, pang So, hindi malinaw kung junk food siya. Uh -huh. 
Basta <laughs> ang malinaw, masarap siya. Okay. Hindi na ako makakain. I agree. Baka mga Korean din yung ginakain mo. Ano? Of course, ramyon. O, di ba? Yung laki ni natin ang sarap. Uy, yeah. Yes. Oh, favorite din ang mga Korean sa laki niya. I don't want to see it. Oo. Oh, din na ni sinal pa niya yung Talking branding. Talking branding. Ayan na nga. Ayan na nga. Local brand dyan, ha? So now, let's talk about branding and rebranding with our guests coming up right after this break. The Cheese will be right back. Joining our discussion tonight, brand architect Amor Maklang. Amor, of course, is the co-founder of Geisler Maklang Communications Inc. Good evening and welcome to the Chiefs, good evening. Amor. Yes, welcome good back. evening. Uh, Mga happy. Yes. <laughs> okay, ano bang brand namin? I joke. <laughs> Hot leaders. <laughs> Hot leaders. <laughs> Am I bilis, okay? Ah? Oh, nga, ang bilis, ano? Ang bilis, ang rapid. Kasi ito si Robby mo na, si Robby. Anong brand ni Robby? Maganda ko na ito. Ah, ito sabi ko na sa kanya the other time, eh. Omni-channel media personality. Yun, omni. Lahat. Umapad ka. Lahat. Parang start of all seasons, eh. Hahaha. Pero yes. O si Ed, ako hindi ko pwede. Wala pala ito. Oh my God. Star of all platforms. Pwede yan, pwede yan. Teka, teka lang. Si Ed, si Ed. Teka, baka matulong tayo dito. Teka lang. Oo, ano kinaka... Sir Ed, ha? Because we're talking about branding. Di ba? Oo, sige, si Ed. Oh my God. Huwag mapanghusga. Ah, horse. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Kasi, medyo matagal ko nang ano, matagal na akong fan ni Sir Ed, eh. Di ba? So, ako, yung kanyang wartime, parang grizzled war correspondent. Grizzled. Sabi ko sa'yo, war correspondent. Di ba? O, di ba? Kaya ngayon, di ba? Kaya ngayon, di ba? Correct. O, o. CLCB, CLCB. CLCB. Ako, si. Ah, bo, si. Hepe. Yes. Kasi, big soto yun. Na nandito na. Baka makatakas si Andy. Hindi, hindi makakatakas. Hindi ko siyempre, alam mo, when I was starting in the industry, Si Ma'am Ami ay Ma'am Ami na already. So, queen ang kapihan para sa akin. Yeah. <laughs> queen ang kapihan? Kasi, pero kasi naman at that time, may mga kapihan pa yes. talaga. Yes. Sa today, Manila right? Hotel pa to. <laughs> Tagal na to. <laughs> Parang mga 1990s pa tayo. I'm dating myself. I'm dating myself. Ano na natin, i-diretso na natin dito. Why are we talking about branding, first yeah. of all? Why? Ano ba ibig sabihin ng branding? Why is it so important? Okay. So, ito nga po yung nakikita ko na potential kung ba't nagkaroon ng problema with all of these issues coming about. There's such a thing as reputation and awareness. So those two things are different. Both are a function of a brand, right? So ano ba ang kaibahan ng reputation at awareness? Ang reputation is what people believe about you, mm -hmm. right? Hindi totoo. Perception. Whether or not, right? Okay. So what people may or may not believe okay. about you, it's what other people say about you, mm -hmm. Yun ang, ang usually yan yung uh, tinatrabaho ng mga reputation architect or PR, etc. Yung awareness naman is what you say about yourself. So for example, di ba kung ikaw ay isang, yeah, kanina napapag-usapan natin, pansit kanton, what do you say about yourself? Ikaw yung nagsasabi nun. So, mm -hmm. ang, so it's a function of, yun, yung awareness is do people know you, yes or no? It's what you say about yourself. Reputation is what other people would say about you. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung two components of what makes a brand. Okay. And those two things have to align. Okay. Pero sir, pag hindi aligned yun pong what people say about you and what you say about yourself, mm -hmm. ah, yun na yung sabong. Kaya okay. nagkakasabong. Yung, yung awareness ba? Nang, ay, based on the research that you know, yung awareness ng Pilipinas at saka yung reputation ng Pilipinas, aligned ba yan? Okay. So, uh, medyo, I've been traveling the past two months, no, helping promote the Philippines. From an investment perspective, I've got news for you. Many people don't know about our country. So, awareness pa lang yung pinag-usapan natin? Awareness pa lang. So, like, for example, at least on the business side, right, parang sabihin natin, oh, mag-invest kayo sa Pilipinas. Deadma. Pag sinabi mo, mag-invest kayo sa ASEAN, ang Pilipinas ay nandyan, all of a sudden, makikinig sila. So, believe it or not, siguro dito napakalaking issue sa atin, pero pagdating mo actually abroad, kadamihan po 
uh, most of them may or may not know, or they know us for beaches, mm -hmm. de ba? Because mm -hmm. stereotyping is uh, our mental mechanism for filing things, ne? Mm -hmm. Para makadale. Oh, anong anong mo sa sa Singapore? Merong mga mga tao si nasabi parin until today. Ah, di ba pang nagjuing kam ka don? Mm -hmm. ah, Magaka problema ka, de ba? Mm -hmm. So sa atin pag sinabi, oh, we're beaches. So merong paring awareness problem at reputation gap. Siguro hindi problem eh. Gap na kailangan nating itawid. Right? So, yun yung... But how big is the awareness problem? Doon tayo sa awareness. How big is the awareness problem? And, uh, like, when you say people don't know mm. us, uh, what kind of people don't know us? Ayan. So, you know, okay. I, I had the impression three, three decades ago na everybody heard about the Philippines for good or for bad already. For good or for bad, no? <laughs> now, Coming from a, a strategy perspective, ano bang objective natin? Mm -hmm. Anong objective mo for people knowing about the Philippines? Is it to cause investments? Is it to mm -hmm. cause more travelers come in? So, based on that analysis, dapat yung approach, whether mag-branding ka, mag-roadshow ka, mag-PR ka, ganun dapat eh. Ano ba yung objective talaga? So, for example, siguro sir, from an investment perspective, uh, Buti na lang ang ating chief salesperson to quote Secretary Fred ay ang pangulo, di ba? He's been going out. Uh, yung sa tourism side, people still know us for beaches, but then may mga kompetensya tayo, nandiyan ang Thailand, nandiyan ang iba-ibang island. So, medyo I think the differentiation, anong mm -hmm. pinagkaiba ng Pilipinas compared to all of these other markets. Yan ang kailangang ilabas. Okay. So you're talking about our reputation mm. and the level of awareness of people outside of the Philippines, in other mm. words, foreigners. But when you're talking about, say, the branding now that uh, Malacanang has launched, no? yung bagong Pilipinas, I mean, I'm sure that's addressed to the people. Mm. And the branding is supposed to address uh, what Filipinos ought to believe about their government. Ma'am, tama ka. Mm -hmm. Parang kung maglalabas ka ng isang branding campaign, dapat yung tinatawag na mga internal stakeholders mo, yung mga Pilipino, yung leadership mo, dapat nararamdaman nila yon. Mm -hmm. So, hindi tayo pwedeng maglabas ng... Uh, ng slogan or ng statement right. so, na, nga na kita, walang purot sa puso uh, oh, oh, tatanong nga kita nagmamatch ba how would you rate ah. the reputation versus the awareness kung yun yung dalawang factors that actually make up a brand a brand no? so we go back bakit ba tayo nagba-branding exercise and I tell you it's not just to create awareness at the end of the day it's about revenue Diba? So, kung halimbawa, investors ang kailangan mo, gusto mo magpasok sila ng pera sa Pilipinas. Kung gusto mo ng turista, it has to translate to room nights. Mm -hmm. Diba? So, hindi lang yan dahil we have likes or Facebook posts. Hindi lang yon. At the end of the day, reputation comes before revenue. So, siguro po ang aking suggestion to, to support your statement is, we need to get an overall consensus Ano ba yung pinaniniwalaan ng mga tao about us? Tapos kung halimbawa, napakalaki ng gap, napakalaki ng gap, kailangan siguro humanap tayo ng jumping board na hindi masyadong malaki yung gap. Kasi pag malaki ang gap, tsaka kaya nga nagbaba, nagbaba ngayon on social media. Oh, sige, tingnan na muna natin kung what, what, what's out there right now. Yes. Ha? Kasi kaya nagkaroon ng ganditong kontroversya. Eh. Meron na tayo ng bagong Pilipinas. Meron tayong love the Philippines. Bagong Pilipinas, obviously, it's targeted at Filipinos, no? Tagalog mm -hmm. yan, eh. At, yeah. at yung love the Philippines, sabi din nila, nukatargeted dyan sa Pilipino rin, di ba? Mm -hmm. Kasi, love your own, eh. W what can you say about mm -hmm. these new logos, this new country branding, though? So, I really... Part of what you said, uh, Ma'am Ami, harkens to the problem, which is, we're not sure who is who it's targeted to. Mm -hmm. Sabi mo nga, di ba? Internal ba to External. Mm -hmm. Look at, for example, one of my favorite country brands. Na medyo matagal-tagal na, ha? Ito, I'm dating myself again. Malaysia Truly Asia. Mm -hmm. Right? Pag sinabing Truly Asia, may konting ingit ka, o oh, ano bang nandyan na naging Truly Asia sila? Mm -hmm. So, to all the external markets, parang it piques your curiosity mm -hmm. to 
uh, internal stakeholders, di ba, parang, oh, you have a sense of pride. Kami talaga yun, yung truly Asia. So, walang tinatanong kung halimbawa, ay, hmm. pang internal or internal ba ito? So, I think what's important is, hindi lamang uh, the, uh, bridging the gap between awareness and reputation, but also to make sure na kung ano yung country brand or brand overall will resonate uniformly to all stakeholders. So, siguro po yun yung opportunity natin next time. No? The exercise that I think, you know, the, our leaders can, can, can go in. Nakalimutan ko yung isa pa. We give the world our best. Ano yung pagkakaintindi mo oh, yun, eh. sa message na yun? So, from what I heard, no, from what yeah. I heard, and I was actually, inahanap po ngayon eh, I was actually in, in London recently. Um, from what I understand po, that campaign was intended para sa mga OFW naman, di ba? Sa mga caregivers, etc. But what and about them exactly? Precisely, mm. right? Because we give our world our best is not just intended for those who give care or service. Kasi ngayon ng mga Pilipino, hindi lamang nasa service industry. You'll be surprised. You go to places like Dubai or Singapore, kadamihan ng leadership. Mga Filipino. So, maybe there are facets of the community that are feeling underrepresented or misrepresented. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying a brand should embrace all. Mm -mm. Right? And that's what makes it difficult and at times expensive. Mm -hmm. It's because it it's not just about generating a logo. Kasi nga, di ba, halimbawa po, dun sa nangyari sa um, isang agency na, oh, Pagkor, halimbawa, mag- Pagkor na. Sabi na natin, sabi na natin, itago na lamang natin sa pangalang Pagkor, right? So, um, basically, ang daming nag-generate ng logos. Tapos sinabi nila, oh, ang dali namang gumawa ng logo eh. But, yung tinatawag na brand management, although no one really uses that now because you don't own your brand. Now, the brand mm. is owned by the community. Nung panahon nating lahat, nung panahon oh, namin ni... Brand ni, manager. Correct, eh. dati. Oh, oh. Nung panahon namin ni Sir Ed dati. Pag tinawag na <laughs> brand manager, <laughs> na matagal na, <laughs> na, 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 pag sinabing brand manager, bakit sinasabing brand manager? Ah, because you are responsible for controlling and shaping the brand. Unfortunately, in an era of social media, wala na pong such a thing as you own the brand. Mm. You have to co-create the brand. You don't own your brand. Look at Kim Kardashian. Do you think mm. Kim Kardashian owns her brand? No, she doesn't. Mm. The community that you talk to equally own the brand and they feel invested in that brand. Mm. Mm. So actually, sir, ma'am, wala na ngayong brand manager na tinatawag. Pag nagtrabaho ka sa MNC, hindi na brand manager ang community manager na yung tinatawag, mm. a facet of. Okay. Kasi your brand is shared with the community. So what do we do with something like, for example, love the Philippines? I mean, you could, you could be neutral about it. But then when you look at social media, especially the first time it came out, pagkatapos, and that was even before itong lumabas na ay, kumuha sa ibang bansa, even before that. But pero nagsunod-sunod na, na, na dagok mm. yung, yung slogan, even before it could get out of the gates. Kung, kung hindi lang gobyerno o DOT or any single entity ang may-ari nun. And given how the owners, the community who owns the Philippine brand reacted to that, what do we do with that? What do we do with that now? If, mm. I'm, I'm sorry. Ito parang after the fact eh. Hindi ba dapat oh. inaalam mo yun before? Mm. I mean, I just I mean wonder, given the reaction, di ba? I mean, yeah. ito nga, ito yung internal stakeholders saying na, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to character. So, may opinion ako doon. Oh. So, nabanggit ko nga ito kay, kay Ma'am Luchi kanina. Um, my philosophy kasi is you do not communicate anything unless your performance and your behavior align. Yeah, oh. right. So, you only communicate when your performance and behavior is not just aligned, but it's known to stakeholders. Oh. No? Right. So, yun yung tinatawag na MTPR. Eh. Ah, oh. PR ka lang. Pag sinabi, oh. ah, PR ka lang. Basically, what the community tells you is, Hindi pwede na ang, ang unang maririnig ko lamang sa iyo ay ang change of logo mo. What mm. I probably would recommend to anyone else, organization, national line agency thinking of tinatawag na rebranding, do not lead with a tool of awareness. So advertising is a tool of awareness, okay? I think people do know mm. about Pagcor, but mm. what do people believe about Pagcor for example? Mm. Ano ka ba gaming regulator ka ba? Are you an enable of esports? Mm. Ano ba? Mm. So parang Kaya nag-alingaw nag nga yung social media. 
is not really because pula bayan, I don't like the shade of blue. What we are hearing collectively is, sana naman po, kung may, if we hear from you for the first time publicly, it's about what's your relevance, what do you do? We need to know more about you before magpakilala ka muna, magpakilala ka muna bago ka magpakilala mm -hmm. ng change in logo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Yon. So it's really let the people know, understand what you're doing. And I'm not saying wala silang ginagawa. Mm -hmm. Baka lang hindi nalalaman ng mga tao anong mandato ng PAGOR, anong, no. ano, ang, ano ang vision ng bagong DOT yung secretary PAGOR, natin. Yung I think is, is mas, mas malinaw yung, yung issue. Eh. Diba? Parang in a way, people can be third party to it and independent of it. Kasi hindi naman... Pero yung, yung sa case ng Pilipinas, we mm. know the product. Mm. I have very strong feelings about the product. I love the Super. product. I do love the Philippines. Course, but it's the, the the slogan itself. It was the brand itself that, and 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 the way it was launched, that and so it. Kumbaga lampas to this awareness. Eh. Oh, diba? okay. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. what you said. You said something there. The four-letter word that actually does a company in during a crisis. I'm not saying this is a crisis. This is not at all. Actually, I was telling, see, si Ma'am Lucina, this is for me a non-issue, but. What does a company in pag may crisis is not the crisis itself. It's the fact that they love the brand so much that they, they, that they defend it uh, to the death, right? So basically what's happening now is you're seeing people who are emotionally invested in how the brand, the comp country is branded, how the country is called. Ang sinasabi nila na unspoken, bakit hindi kami kasama? Why don't we have a seat in the table when this was decided? Was this decided by one or two creative consultants? We love the brand, we love the country so much, sinama mo ba kami? Yeah. Yon. So yeah. parang, we have to kasi understand the psychology, bakit nagkakaroon ng issues sa social media? Not because gusto natin manggulo. We have to listen to what's not being spoken. Pero, so that speaks of a process. Kailangan yes. Kailangan pa yung, yung yes. audience mo Tama. Dun sa... Yan. Oh. Tama. And that's why you're the boss and not me. So the process, right? <laughs> uh, tama. It is about the process. So it's not about alin ba yung mas matunog na logo o slogan o mas matingkad na pula. Hindi. It is about the process. So uh, maybe to other national line agencies or for example to other organizations who want to rebrand uh, One News, if you wanted to, the first thing that you'd probably want to do is get the pulse so people think ah research lang yan no it's not research kailangan kuhanin mo din yung buy in sino ba yung tourism stakeholders for example yung mga tour operators mm. horeca napakinggan ba sila they say so yeah but nung nakita ko sa social media all the leaders for example of the uh, tourism industry parang oh we have not heard of this etc may mga ganong comments mm. so it's about sense of ownership so the process is you get the pulse, okay, you will have a creative idea, you, you, you have to get the buy-in. Now, the buy-in of the community. The next process is, anong gagamitin mong tool? Gagamitin mo ba is a tool of awareness? Like, for example, advertising? Or do you need to per perhaps get people to understand who you are? Ergo reputation. So in which case, you do maybe organic social media, organic media. So, once you determine what the root cause is, then tama, kailangan mong pumili ng tumpak na tool. So yes, there is, ma'am, a process. Mm -hmm. And before you maybe roll out something big and put the spotlight on yourself, uh, perhaps what you need to do is be a bit more low-key. Doesn't mean you're not doing anything. It mm -hmm. means that maybe you're gaining consensus, may mga kinakausap ka na community, mas mabusisi, mas mahaba. As opposed to this mentality, wham, bam, I'll roll out a, an advertising campaign. Kasi gusto ko lahat marinig yun. Pero, But there is a process. Ang problema dito sa atin, of course, medyo polarized yung society natin. Ano? At yan lang, ano, yan lang, just the need to change the, lo the slogan, the logo of the tourism campaign. I don't think kahit mag-consultation ka, magkakaroon, okay, madaling magkaroon ng consensus eh. But a general diba? consensus, ma'am. Kahit hmm. more or less. Or, okay, kahit lalo hindi mag... Na, yeah. Lalo na kung national branding. Oh, oh. But, uh, see? So, sorry. Kahit, mahirap -hirap opo, so, kahit hindi tayo magka-consensus, at least the fact na may pinakinggang ka. Yes. So, at least pag tinanong, oh, ako, Amor, I don't agree, pero 
Yes, I was there. I had a seat at the table. But, but my impression, at least from the people that we talked to uh, over the past uh, few weeks, was that there was one, I don't know if you call it consensus, but one popular sentiment was actually, we're actually happy with it more fun. Yes. And people were also saying that, actually, ma'am, to the government, baka pwedeng, it's, it's not really a priority for us to, to ah. rebrand. There are other things mm -hmm. that we could be investing in. There are other things where we need government support. If there's going to be rebranding, that's fine if it's, if it's going to be good. But pero sa totoo lang po, hindi it's naman to good. priority. And I think part of that was, we really don't think there was anything broken in, in the brand. So can I just support that statement? Now, balik tayo dun sa PBC, Performance, Behavior, and Communication. Uh, kasi po, ang, ang approach namin sa tourism, Bago ka mag-communicate, actually may mga ibang bagay tayo na kailangan siguro focusan. Access. Madali bang makarating sa mga airport natin? We are an island. We do we have a ferry system? Second is accommodations. Kamusta ba? Do we have accommodations that would cater from the backpacker all the way to the aman crowd, right? Third would be activities. Do we have enough activities? So, tama ka. May mga aspeto ng turismo, for example, I'm not zeroing in tourism, but just giving it as an example, na gusto sigurong marinig ng public, anong plano mo? Kasi a, a brand, unfortunately, a rebrand, is usually what's used by a new leader to usher in the fact, hey, I, I'm here. Uh, I'm going to make changes, right? I'm going to make changes. Kaya lahat ng administration, whether you like it or not, we're happy or not, may brand. It's their sigil, di ba? Parang mm. sinasabi nila, nandito na ako. Pero to, to that point, it's been a year. Uh, the president's mm. been in office, what, a year and how many months? Uh, uh, why suddenly rebrand the administration now? Uh, bagong Pilipinas. Uh, is that too late or is that just What's something? wrong with the unity? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was a campaign brand, oh. right? Mm. Yes. Mm. So, the campaign brand was intended for a different purpose. Yung bagong Pilipinas tama ka, it's intended, obviously, pang, pang uh, ano yun, to Tagalog, ano? to, to uh, galvanize action, di ba? Na parang, actually, kasi, suki ako ni Sir dati nun sa, ano, sa election, so, I've always, many people are pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised that, um, you know, at the achievements to date, of the current administration, and I'm one of them. Actually nga, maraming mga departamento sa gobyerno, ang daming ginagawa, pero hindi mo naririnig na nag-re-rebrand. Nag so for example, however much you feel about technology, yung DICT nag-roll out ng eGov Super App. Meron ba tayong nakitang brand doon? Ano ba yun? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Pero, pero the thing is, you know, technology-wise, that's revolutionary. Yung national ID mo, nasa telepono, tas token siya, may mga gano'n, may mga blockchain, etc., mm. etc. Or for example, very low-key, yung Banko Central ng Pilipinas, alam niyo ba na they are pioneering new technologies for cross-border payments? I know, I don't want to bore you with that. But the mm. point is, napakadami actually na mga nangyayari sa bansa natin uh, na magaling, advanced, na hindi masyadong naririnig. Mm. Diba? So, uh, yun, yun naman, ang kakulangan doon, sana lumabas sila and people will know more para mas magkaroon ng mass uptake. Yung tinatawag na mas maraming uh, mag-adapt. Kita okay. mo nga si ma'am, hindi niya alam. Oo. So, anong dapat gawin? So, nangyayari yan. <laughs> nangyayari yan, di ba? Uh, so, how do you bring it uh, to, uh, well, the awareness level mm -hmm. and the reputation level mm -hmm. so that Filipinos will now say, oh, Maganda nga ginagawa ni Ivan Uy sa, ano, sa DICT or maganda nga nangyayari sa BSP niya. How do you bring it there? Is it just a matter of coming up with a national brand that says Bagong Pilipinas? Mm. So, it's interesting you mentioned DICT, for example, and BSP, which we raised. You know what you're doing quietly is actually working very closely with yung tinatawag na influencers in their community, with the stakeholders. So that's an alternative way of actually creating a reputation or creating a brand. Hindi lang yung mag gumawa ka ng uh, advertising campaign, tas ilagay mo sa mga billboard. No, not necessarily. Another, siguro, baka sinasabi nila slow burn, kaya, kaya, kaya hindi ginagawa ng nakararami. 
at uh, maraming trabahong involved is really engaging people who have a say about your brand. Who have a say about your brand. Okay. So, di ba? Sino ang... Yeah. Who would this be, for example? Okay. In the case of ego of the ICT, of her, for example. who would that be? Sige. So, sino yan? So, number one, example, cybersecurity experts. Bakit? Sabihin mo, bakit? Ba't ko kailangan yung board ng cybersecurity experts? Kasi kung maglabas ka ng technology that affects many people, anong unang reaksyon ng publiko? Anong... Anong unang reaksyon nila? Naku, Wala baka ma- scam. Baka ma scam ako, hmm. di ba? Baka ma, ma, ma fish, etc., hmm. etc. But look, when they rolled it out, walang masyadong alingas-ngas. So it means, sometimes, the good news and the good output of PR is when there's no news. Ironically, hmm. right? Hmm. So sometimes, uh, no uh, news is good news. No news is good news. Because hmm. it means that uh, whoever worked on it did their job well. So, ano pang example? Siba, hindi mo isipin. Cybersecurity expert? That's a stakeholder. Kasi, kung mayroong mag-complain about it, gusto mo yung mga cybersecurity experts will come and support the position of the government. So, ngayon, siguro going back to sa DOT, siguro yung opportunity there that we can do next time, kung mag-roll out tayo ng brand, you would have rolled it out internally first to stakeholders, not to the public. Get their buy-in. So, kung merong mga uh, naysayers sa publiko, ang una magde-defend sa'yo ay hindi ikaw. Dapat yung mga parang uh, ad- advocates mo, mga allies mo, sila dapat ang mag-defend. Pero kung ganyang na, na, ganyan, nagkaroon na ng ganyang controversy, you think it's damaged too much na uh-huh. to, to be saved? Do we have to retain it? Yan Ayun. ang tanong ng mga tao ngayon. So, Ako ma'am kasi, there's no such thing as an irreparable brand. I really feel it. No? Just, I mean, just look at many things in our history, right? That have been repaired in due course. Like so, the market, there's... Dame. No, exactly. Your words, yeah. not mine, boss. I, I know, so, but, that's, but, so, that's, uh, oh. but that's objectively true. Exactly. Yeah, it is objectively exactly, true. Exactly, right? So, um, ano nga ba ma'am? Sorry, may ADHD ako. Kailangan ba natin na... But it took a whole generation. Right. Yeah. Do we have to retain yeah, yeah. the generation? Not one generation. No, 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 no. Do we have to retain uh, the logo it, okay. of DLP? So, <laughs> love the Philippines. Balik mo muna natin kay love the Philippines. Ako, so for me, uh, fundamentally, I really don't see anything wrong with the brand itself. I think it was the process. Sabi yes. nga ni ma'am, yung nagkaroon ng issue yung mga tao, nakonsulta ba ako, mayroong an- accidentally, may na-release na video. So, there was a problem with the process. For me, fundamentally, I have no issues with, with, with the logo. Now, anong gawin? Ako siguro, ang re- sa suggest ko po, palamigin niyo muna yung kape. Mm-hmm. Palamigin muna yung kape. Mm-hmm. Let's work on other things na uh, the other A's. Activities, uh, access, investments into tourism, right? Accommodations, mm-hmm. right? Let them feel you in other ways other than just a logo. I think that's really what the community is saying to our leaders. Yung pagko, kayang rehabilitate. Re- yung logo, ha? Yung logo mismo. Actually, I'll tell you. See, it's not about the logo, <laughs> boss, eh. And I'll tell you, people are basically saying, oh, what have I heard from you recently? Mm. Tapos ngayon, all of a sudden, Ah, parang ako kasi pagkor. Pagkor million para palitan yung logo ko. Pagkor na, lalo ko nun sa PBA time, di ba? Parang sponsor yata sila ng PBA. Long time ago. Mm-hmm. So, but basically, what people are saying is, ano ba ang, anong mandato mo pagkor? Mm-hmm. Introduce yourself to us. Mm-hmm. You know? It's almost like barging into someone's house and saying, hey! Mm-hmm. You know, like big and flashy. You didn't even say, hi, hello, good morning po, ako po si X, ako po si Y, right? Yeah. So that's what the public is really Actually, asking for. Actually, ako, as far as PAGCOR is concerned, I mean, how important is it's a brand. logo ah, really? Ah, yes, I mean, sure. do you even have to change the logo when you're rebranding? But in fairness, Mama, from someone who is, I, it could use an update. Siguro, it could use an update. Because you know what? Okay, eto na. PAGCOR, Nung panahon natin, regulator lang sila eh, di ba? Na parang, oh, bawal mong gawin yan, illegal gambling, etc. Alam mo ba, overseas, ang ginagawa ng mga regulatory bodies for gaming, they're, in, they're regulating esports, mm-hmm. Di ba? Yung, mm-hmm. Hindi yeah. lang siya yung boxingan, yung mga nagko-computer, mm-hmm. esports. They are actually enablers. Pwede mo silang sa bahay ko? <laughs> bakit? 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 Dahil yung esports eh, kailangan i-regulate Correct. sa bahay. O, di ba? I-regulate sa bahay. So, Ikaw yata i-regulate. Hindi ako, hindi ako. Uy, but malaking ako economy yun, ha? Malaking okay. economy yun. So, the point is, you need not just be seen as a regulator. Siguro yun yung ano, ano mong pagkor? Regulator ka ba? Enabler ka? Or maybe siguro ang isasuggest ko po to the new pagkor head, si Mr. Altenko is, 
I know you guys are doing things that are enabling the industry. Mm -hmm. Parinig mo sa mga tao, bago so, logo. Uh, you know, I remember Pagor as having advertisements about social responsibility. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, diba? Kasi ginagamit ng pare, pondo ng Pagor. Pareho tayo ng ano, mm -hmm. ng nabutan. Sa, ano, diba? Social funds. Social yeah. service. Yeah. So, Donation parang, sa simbahan. Parang, parang biglang nawala yun eh. Tapos Napunta naging, sa Pogo. Ah, uh, Pogo na. Yan na ngayon na reputation Napunta niya. Napunta sa Pogo. So, Sorry. parang ngayon na naglabas ng logo. Parang feeling mo talaga, Eh, ano ba talaga pagkor ngayon? Tapos letter P, Pogo rin. Oh, Pogo. Ayan na, ayan na. Mukhang manok. Isabong. Mukhang isabong. So, media. Yan ang pumasok sa isip ko. Media is a very important stakeholder. Look, eto na. Si Ma'am Ami na to. Ang perception niya for an important institution like that. Ang tanong ko sa'yo, Ma'am, na binigyan ka ba ng parang pat- Pa, pasintabi, halimbawa. Because you, uh, come on, admittedly, the four of you here are, are institutions here, no? Napa, na, na, <laughs> na, <laughs> wala ako. Hindi ko siya na brand. Hindi na brand. Alamat. Alamat. No, no, no. You don't. Backward na institution niya. Ang tanong. Ano ba? Gusto mo legend. Living legend. Lodi, Lodi. Lodi. Parang mental institution. Napa, napa, ano yun? Na, na, were you given a heads up, for example? Hey, what do you think? Mm -hmm. I mean, I would have, for example, done a, a, oh, pero, a round table with yeah, leaders yeah, like pero yourself. Pero dun ako na sa ano eh, parang is there something wrong with the with the brand itself? Because in fairness, uh, it's more fun. Have the exact same ah, process, okay. It was. I I even remember when it was uh, launched. In the first hours, everybody was like. Huh? Ano yun? Correct. But within correct. the second hour, people were were starting, Coming they got it, memes, they started posting, no? ano, they were having their own pictures, they had their own That's memes, it. And you diba? said, you, you answered your question, hmm. own photos. Hmm. They were having their own, oh, diving, it's more fun in the yeah. Philippines. Reporting, it's more fun uh, in long the Philippines. Yeah, yeah, yes, pero points ko. <laughs> correct, they <laughs> all did. Yes, but there, process-wise, there was no heads up. They uh, just said, oh, ito yun. Ito yung ginawa namin. We talked to agencies. We did our own research. And ito yung sugal namin. Tapos tingin namin, dito kami tataya. Uh, from what I understand, uh, okay, the thing about that consensus process, kasi it's never visible. It's never visible. It's not as visible as having an advertising campaign or a run on social media. That's why people don't understand what it is, for example, like what, PR is done. Like everything is yeah. covered by a shroud. That's true. Wala, that's true. Hindi, hindi natin pinapakita yan. Eh. Actually, hindi uh -oh. mo nga dapat ipakita. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Di ba? Parang yung pelikulang Inception, but, hindi but, mo alam na ini-incept yes. ka na pala. Oh, that's true. But you do believe that there was a process of getting consensus. Why? Because sabi yes. nga ni, uh, going back, no? Dun sa sinabi ni Boss Robbie, immediately after a more, people started sharing mm -hmm. their own photos. Oh, mm -hmm. bilis naman nun. Engineered yun, pag ganun. It means merong proseso. Merong proseso. Going meron. back to Mambi. Okay, we're still talking about branding and rebranding. This time, through the political point of view, we bring in our next guest right after this breather. The Chiefs will be right back. Welcome back. Still on the branding and rebranding issue, let's talk about Bagong Pilipinas. Sharing his insights with us, Attorney Tony Lavinia. He's the president of the Movement Against Disinformation. Good evening and welcome back to the Chief's Dean. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Good evening everyone. Okay. Ah, one year since the inaugural and several days before the second State of the Nation address, meron tayo ngayong Bagong Pilipinas. Ano po yung nai-invoke sa inyo dyan na ano? Nai-evoke na emotions sa inyo. Anong impression ninyo? Bagong lipunan? Bagong. <laughs> the first <laughs> time, it, it does it evoke that memory, di ba? Yes. And therefore, it evokes uh, yes. fear, anger, uh, parang deja vu. Are we actually going back to 1972? Uh, all over again. So, yun mo na. I mean, yeah. is that, ano, um, intentional, di ba? To evoke that. Mukha namang intentional. Uh, 
In that sense, it's consistent with the rationale for running ni President Marcos Jr., which is that about to to save, uh, to rehabilitate the name of Marcos as a political brand and of the father as well. Mm -hmm. But, but I, I hear in, into the into the second year, no, yung first year na lang. Do you actually yes. see anything new? Meron nga bang talagang pagbabago na nararamdaman? Um, the tone is different. Ah, yung, yung tono ng gobyernong ito yes. is different. I think in fairness, uh, at paliba ko sa apin mga diplomat, they will actually say na malaking difference yes. uh, yung administration na ito sa conduct niya ng kanyang foreign policy lalo na sa traditional allies like US, Japan, Europeans, di ba? So, let, let's give that to President uh, Bongbong Marcos na nag-rebrand sila successfully uh, sa ano, no, uh, international. Of course, may problema pa rin sila sa human rights. The rhetoric on human rights is actually good, better, certainly, than Duterte. But the reality on the ground is very different, di ba? But I will, I will grant that na-rebrand tayo successfully sa diplomacy natin, di ba? And, 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 and really uh, credit President Marcos, credit the uh, Foreign Service, uh, the Department of Foreign Affairs for successfully doing that. Pero, di, Pero uh, on well, nabagit mo human rights, alam natin na hindi nagbago, nag-worsen pa nga siguro on the ground, uh, I think yung, uh, for example, people have been designated as anti-terror council as terrorists when they should not, although I have to disclose I'm a lawyer of those people that have been listed and designated. Diba? But uh, yung mga tao na yun have been charged so many times and dismissed and still they are designated. Diba? Yung, alam natin may abductions na nangyayari. Um, Alam natin that the war against drugs continues in terms of the killings. Maybe not as much and certainly the president is not uh, complicit sa kanyang rhetoric against drug addicts and drug pushers. Senator Laila de Lima, number one political mm -hmm. prisoner, uh, still not being released from from prison. So may, may, may disconnect certain human mm -hmm. rights. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Well, di, di, but if you look at all the variables kasi in the past few months, uh, from the name Maharlika, uh, used for that investment fund na tinulak talaga for, for Sona, and then now Bagong Pilipinas, uh, pa, para may gustong tumbukin eh. I, I, I'd like to ask you, pa nga, eh. oh, may kadiwa pa. Uh -huh. I'd like to ask you, is it just yeah. a rebranding of this administration or is it also a rebranding of the Marcos, Marcos Senior Administration to yes. soften its image and, uh, you know, yes. change, change that? Uh, and, and, and may I add, yes. no? May I add, Dean, I, I, how much of it has to do with, uh, well, historical revisionism, which is what some people are thinking, no? Parang it's an effort nga precisely to erase the notion that the Marcos administration before was a... Golden Age. Yeah, golden age. Yeah, no, definitely. It's a, that's why I said right away what it evoked. Bagong, and I think it's I think it's intentional, diba? Bagong Pilipinas, bagong Lipunan. Uh, the logo, uh, which is strange for me, because I uh, no, no, part of the branding discussions that you had, because it's the Philippine flag, diba? That's really what it's the logo is the Philippine mm. flag, and we're counting maybe an explanation here and there, but. But it's strange, di ba? Kasi, uh, uh, it's just strange for me in a way they have to have a new uh, symbol when the Philippine flag is just, is, is enough, di ba? Do they want to change the Filipino flag, di ba? So, yan. Pangalawa, uh, di ba, yung ano, baka makakarinig tayo ng bagong kanta, di ba? Bagong silang. Hmm. <laughs> Sa amin na mga atin, I think some of us here. Our Marshall of Babies, I think it's about the most bata sa atin. So, <laughs> ano, uh, but, uh, uh, yun ang, di ba, ubiquitous sa, sa panahon natin, di ba? The, the time when we're, I was 12 years old when Marshall Law was dictated, and then uh, 15 years old, anti Marcos dictatorship struggle na ako, involved na ako at 15 years old in Mindanao, di ba? And, and ubiquitous yun. So, it's a very direct and intentional, ano, I think, kasi, uh, 
uh, rehabilitation of the name. Hmm. Because, at ang tanong, tanong mo siguro dyan, maganda yung sinabi kanina ni Amor, I was listening to the earlier uh, discussion, di ba? Uh, sa totoo lang, marami din namang ginagawa ang government na they can actually be proud of, di ba? Um, mm. may, may mga palpak, I think, maraming palpak in terms of of like the inflation, prices, economy, etc. Pero halimbawa sa, sa environment side, sa energy side, you know, the, the people that have been appointed, there have been good people and trying their best under very challenging circumstances kasi El Nino tayo, di ba? Um, so in that sense, may pagbabago. But hindi, parang hindi yun ang nire-refer to na pagbabago. Maharlika, hindi yan pagbabago yung Maharlika, di ba? I mean, it, it, it smells like corruption, di ba? It smells like cronyism, di ba? Yun yung, yun yung, ano, yun yung the thing sa tingin ko. Hmm. I, did, uh, point. Uh, I, I think all of us can relate to, to the first impressions that you have, no? And in first reactions mo to bag, bagong Pilipinas, I think of a certain generation, including us, yun talaga yung unang connection, eh, di ba? Bagong lipunan, um, and so on. But you also make the point na, you know, it's it's hard to to communicate that, especially when people have their own experiences right now, di ba? And especially for young people, their introduction to these brands, to these logos, is what they see right now. But you make the point that whatever it is, there is also dissonance on the ground. Um, and a lot of us are not exposed to that. Uh, maybe you could expound a bit on, on the dissonance that, as you said, you're feeling on the ground when it comes to to human rights when it comes to the implementation of the anti-terror law. Yes. So certainly sa ano no sa human rights wala talagang uh, pagbabago except the rhetoric, di ba? Uh, political prisoners are still in prison. Uh, the anti-terror law is actually being implemented the way we feared it would be implemented, not against terrorists but against activists, di ba? Yun yung yung pinaka uh, ano doon, uh, that, that, that we see. Um, now, we're hoping, of course, because they, they, they just appointed, di ba? Marcos just appointed, Marcos Jr. just appointed a new defense secretary, si Gilbert Chodoro, uh, admittedly a friend of mine. I hope that he would review how this is being done, di ba? Kasi uh, malinaw naman na, na yung violation of human rights na nangyayari in this last in the first year of the Marcos uh, um, uh, government. Hmm. How, um, how is it, I mean, if you but, don't mind, uh, if you could describe for us, how is it actually being implemented? In particular, designation of people as, hmm. as, uh, as suspected terrorists or in fact as terrorists. How is that, how is that playing out? So, yeah. So, the latest, of course, uh, is we have seen uh, yung apat na activists sa uh, Cordillera, four activists from the Cordillera, uh, uh, so Mr. Tauli, si Mr. Bolingit, uh, uh, Mr. Gauroa, and others, uh, and one more person, uh, they have been uh, uh, designated. Di ba? Um, and that means also their assets, their bank accounts have been frozen. At release then yung bank account ng bank accounts ng Cordillera People's Alliance, a very, uh, you know, uh, uh, an organization with a long history uh, of open and legal ano, no? uh, struggle activism in the Cordilleras. Going back to the pre-Marcos era or short, shortly after EDSA. Diba? So, so uh, and all of these individuals, for example, have already been charged and dismissed among the cases nila. Diba? And again, they are designated. Parang, I think that's harassment uh, uh, already. Um, of course, earlier, uh, ito, remnants part of the of the Duterte government, diba? parang transition na lang yung yung RMP rural missionaries of the of the Philippines. I mean, a uh, very revered uh, group of religious workers nuns and priests that, that work in rural areas in the Philippines. Uh, uh, ganun din ang ginawa sa kanila. Diba? Those cases are now are now uh, uh, going on. Uh, but this recent one, talagang ano ito, under Marcos na itong recent one. So, 
that that's uh, no no that's that's what I I I I mean. There's there's a lot of uh, and of course we, okay, Laila Delima is another one. I mean, I I know that the cases are in court, but a political decision could have been made by uh, President Marcos and instructed to the DOJ that uh, uh, that these cases are should not be pursued uh, anymore. No? Um, because they're clearly political, the cases against Senator De Lima. So, yung mga ganyan na uh, mga situation where you have a rhetoric, actually, we, we behave very well dun sa United Nations Human Rights Council. Um, the president, in all his trips, uh, raise yan eh, <clears throat> actually makes promises or uh, indicates an openness, certainly, to, 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 be, to comply diba, with, with human rights norms and universal. But pagdating sa Pilipinas, Wala tayo nakikita ang pagbabago. Right. Yun so, nga yung gusto kong tanungin, Dean. Eh. How much of that disconnect that you're trying to say is there between the logo and the Bagong Pilipinas brand uh, is actually felt or applies to the ordinary man on the street, many of whom still believe that Bongbong Marcos has done very well in his first year in office. In other words, in general, how, how do you know that there is that disconnect? Maybe the disconnect is just limited to the opposition, to people like you who believe, who see the figures about uh, human rights and so on and so forth. Luchi, the ultimate, uh, no, the ultimate disconnect has to be uh, dun sa economic. Alam naman natin, sa lahat ng mga surveys, uh, majority of the people, ang concern nila, yung kanilang sitwasyon, yung kanilang kabuhayan, yung kanilang pagkain, yung kanilang siguridad, di ba? Um, so, the, the real question is, are they better off a year ago? Di ba? Um, and in the end, ito, it's a branding na ito, to the extent that it is an it is an aspiration at the end of five years, another five years, six years term, are they better off than they were in 2022 when mm -hmm. Marcos came to to power? Mm -hmm. pero, so pero, yun talaga ang real disconnect uh, because I don't think people see their lives as better now. Uh, although Marcos, in a sense, is lucky because he took power Napatapos na yung pandemic. So by that very nature of circumstances, diba? marginally better talaga yung mga tao, marginally more optimistic than they were if Marcos took power in 2020 or in 2021. Diba? Ang laki ng, ano laking bagay yan. But I think by 2026, you will see the big difference. Whether in fact, uh, itong, bangon, itong bagong Pilipinas ay talagang bagong Pilipinas o lumang Pilipinas lang. Uh, sa ngayon, sa tingin ko, parang lumang Pilipinas ang nakikita natin. Pero siyempre, yung, yung logo ang ibig din sabihin nun eh. It's a new way of doing business. No? Uh, are you actually saying something new? Kasi meron siyang advantage eh. It's being compared with the previous administration hmm. eh. Not just in human rights, pati yung paghandle ng economy. You mentioned already foreign affairs. Malaking bagay yun in attracting both investments and travelers to the Philippines. At yun na nga, naswinerte rin na patapos na yung pandemic and we are actually getting more people in. So, anong, anong masasabi nyo sa ganung mga observation na actually we're seeing something new and it's an improvement? Well, exactly. I mean, uh, uh, precisely because of the circumstances, di ba? Uh, He's lucky enough, fortunate enough to see na people see enough change in their lives, or hope must hope pa siguro kasi change, di ba? Na they're will, they willing to to give the this government a, a chance. I mean, um, to be honest, I, I I I also do that. I I'm not I'm not totally, di ba? I'm 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 also willing to give the, this government a chance. Kasi, First year pa naman niya. I wouldn't have expected a real change in the first year mm -hmm. uh, in terms of people's lives, di ba? Uh, iba yung human rights. I would have expected that. It's a flick of a finger lang yun, mm -hmm. di ba? Mm -hmm. Or of a switch lang yun. 
Halimbawa, yung killing sa war against drugs, from what I know, from people that I will talk to in the security sector, in the police sector, yung yung killings, extrajudicial killings, yung abductions of activists, yung designation, the ba, wrong designation, even high-profile cases like the Lima, that requires only a decision by the president. Di ba? Iba yung inflation, di ba? Iba yung uh, hunger, kasi structural ang roots dyan eh. So, so that is a, a change that will take a while and it's hard to judge it. Is like, except may optimism yung mga tao. Mm. Kita mo din naman yan na people are more optimistic now than they were a year before. And that's really a product of the, of the pandemic. Uh, Dean, we're almost out of time. I, I do also want to ask you um, about, I mean, we talk about politics, let's take in uh, as much of the ecosystem uh, as we can and throw in uh, the opposition or at least the, co the question of an opposition. Anong nakikita mo doon? Because a lot of people, I mean, Benjamin Magalong was one of the latest people to come out and say for whatever motives he had or whatever his interests were. But he said, para wala nag-iingay. Diba? And therefore, I have to speak out on corruption. I have to speak out on inflation. I have to speak out on, on, on calling for better governance uh, and so on. And we certainly feel it in media. Even political analysts have all said that. Na parang, ano nga ba? Ano, how do we paint the quote-unquote opposition right now? Or is that something that to you has yet to be to, to, to clarify itself um, in the coming weeks? Gandang tanong yan, Robby. The reality is there is no opposition, di ba? Right now. Organized. There is no organized opposition. Political opposition, ha? Mm. I mean, there's underground opposition by mass movements, for example, but also severely weakened by just attacks. Uh, red tagging attacks during the Duterte time that continued to today, di ba? So talagang, ano, yung, yung mass movements are also reeling from from being attacked, diba? Uh, and red tag and accused of being terrorist. So, so, ano. But the electoral opposition, na wipe out siya, diba? Uh, sa 2022 elections, uh, they're running out of time to, to ano, kasi 2025 is just, diba? One and a half years away, and, and they need to put up slate, diba? Uh, uh, and also on the uh, local government level, also, na ano, because it will be a, a comprehensive election in 2025, mm -hmm. except for the president and the vice president. So, ka, hindi magandang bagong Pilipinas yan na walang opposition, di ba? Hindi, hindi magandang bagong Pilipinas when you actually terrorize your opposition, silence your dissent. Yan ang sinasabi ko palagi, di ba, na, 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 uh, and that's what Marcos did, di ba? I mean, Marcos Sr. did. Kaya that part being evoked na of the Marcos Le Sr. legacy of stifling dissent and destroying the opposition uh, and, di ba, co-opting the opposition. So right now, in effect, the real opposition or the real op opposing parties within opposition are within the coalition, di ba? Uh, um, Mukhang there's, there's tension certainly between the Marcos Romaldes, Martin Romaldes camp and uh, Sara Duterte uh, Arroyo camp, di ba? Uh, but no doubt, kung may ibang organized opposition come out, they will find a way to come together again as they did in 2022. So, yun ang ating abangan, di ba? But that's not a real opposition uh, between them. Those are really just uh, the same, di ba? Uh, entity dividing into two because there's no one else, diba? There's a vacuum uh, that we have. So, kawawa ang Pilipinas. In Pilipinas na walang pinapayagang dissent, criticism, opposition is a very bad new Philippines. Okay. Pagsamang bagong Pilipinas yon. Dean Tony, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Salamat, Thank sir. You. Thank you, sir. Ingat po. Salamat, ingat po kayo. Attorney Tony Lavinia. And that is it for the Chiefs. 
We hope what was discussed will keep the conversation going. Ako po si Robbie Alampay. I'm Ami Pamintuan of the Philippine Star. I'm Luchi Cruz Valdez of News 5. I'm Edling Gao. We are One News All Sides all the time.